Hi there, Chris Courtney here from New Pragmatic. Thanks so much for spending a moment of your day with me. This is Command Line for Designers. And I really wanna tackle the dividing line between design and development. And that typically is really the command line itself. The command line interface, regardless of whether you're using terminal on a Mac or something like PowerShell on a Windows machine, is really, really required to install many of the modern packages that are necessary to do modern front-end web development. To, to not use command line at this point is much harder than just using command line. So I'm here to give you just enough to get started. And once you master this set of tasks, you move on to the next. And before you know it, you'll be super comfortable operating with the command line. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up Terminal on my Mac. If you're on a Windows machine, open up something like PowerShell. With this, I'm going to go ahead and maximize my screen and we'll clear this up. The first thing that I want you to be able to do is understand where you're at on your machine at any given moment. And the command that you're going to need to do that is PWD. And as, as you can see here, it spits out a line that has a slash and then it says users and then a slash and then it says C2. My username for my machine is C2. The Fra uh, the phrase before that is users and that's a folder so I have a user folder inside of a folder of users and then I have a slash that takes me up to the top level of my directory what you may notice is that slash folder slash folder that may seem really familiar to you and that's because this mimics what we see online the slash is indicating that there's a change in directory so a directory and a folder, these terms are pretty much interchangeable, but a, a slash indicates you're moving into a new resource. In some cases, these can be the files. So if I had a file that I wanted to enter, I would see the file name, and typically I would see like a .jpg or .html, whatever that file type was, I would see that. So when you don't see a file type, that typically means it's a folder. When you see a file type, it's a file. When we say, say to our computer, where am I? It gives us something back. You can read what's on the screen, but you're really hearing the computer tell you where you're at. This is not the same as seeing. And I, can, I compare using command line to, to basically having senses. We still can't see because I can't see what's inside of this user folder. To do that, I want to use the ls command. And the ls command lists out all the files that are inside of that folder. So inside of the folder of C2, I have applications and Google Drive and all the things that you would expect to see for a, a user folder on your machine. But this list command isn't showing me everything. If I type ls-a, you can see there actually are a lot more files in this folder. So this is like unlocking supervision, night vision, if you will, for your machine. These files are there all the time, but if you were to open up your user folder on your machine, you would not see them without going in the command line. So ls tells you what's in a given folder. ls-a shows you the hidden files inside of that folder. Now that we know how to hear, and now that we know how to see, can we move? Can we actually migrate around our machine? And the way we would do that, I'm gonna go ahead and clear, this is Command K, that clears out the screen. If I wanna move around my machine, the, the, the thing that I wanna use is CD, which is, which is change directory. When I just type in CD by itself, it doesn't seem to do much. If I type in CD dot dot, you'll see that it's moved me from my home directory inside of my user folder to the user directory that my user folder was inside of. Now if I hit ls, you'll see that I have two items here, which is shared and c2. If I type in cd dot dot again, I get to a slash and now I'll hit ls. I'm at the top level of my machine. I'm in applications, library, network, systems, users, volumes, etc. The big thing that you want to realize when you're using change directory or the CD command is that the dot dot is baked into every folder that you could utilize. But it's really meant to go one direction, up. 
If you want to go down, you need to select a directory that you want to, to go to. In this case, I'll say CD and I want to go into applications. I could type that out. I could say applications like so. And you can see now I've changed from being in the slash to now I'm in applications. I'm going to CD out one more time. Another way you can change directories using the command line is to, is to provide a, a pathway to a particular directory. Right now, I'm in my home directory. If I hit LS, I can see all the options available to me. But there are options inside of each of these folders. If I want it to go into a client project, for instance, I have a KVH project that I want to access. I would say CD projects K and VH. It can even, the autocomplete will even work if I'm not in that directory at that particular point in time. It's looking inside a project to see what the options are. Once I hit enter, I'm now inside of the KVH folder. So you can string together as many particular um, paths as you would like. Uh, you can only go to one particular place at a time. If I hit LS, I can see all the things that, that were in there. And that's really all there is to it. So for practice, I would suggest practicing these three basic commands. PWD to know where you are, LS and LSA to see what's in that location, and then CD to begin moving around your machine. Trust me, nothing about those commands is going to break anything. Yes, there are commands that, that could cause more havoc, um, but they're very few and far between. This is not the, the set of commands that's going to cause potential problems. So use these basic commands to get comfortable with command line. You're not going to break anything. And the better you get at this, the more easier it's going to be for you to collaborate with others. I'm Chris Courtney for New Pragmatic. We'll talk again soon.